Good morning, everyone. It's July 25th, 2016, and um, it's Monday. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. Uh, it's kind of hot here in northern New Jersey. We've been under a heat dome, as uh, much of the country is right now. So um, I noticed at nighttime, they must cut back on the electricity because the house at bedtime is about 10 degrees hotter than the thermostat is set so um, you know we have to try to keep maybe a fan on us and stay cool uh, stay hydrated we don't know how long this heat wave is gonna last but uh, I send out blessings to everyone who's struggling right now and we have to be careful of the children and the elderly. They seem to feel um, this heat much worse than uh, than middle-aged people do. So I'd like to say the Our Father right now. If you'd like to join me, please do. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you, Father. I thank you for my blessings. I thank you for the ministry, both ministries and all the people that you send to hear your words through my videos. Uh, I thank you especially for uh, the large group you sent into uh, my Facebook ministry yesterday. Uh, your hand was definitely on the ministry, and I thank you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I have a couple picked out today, and um, it's from the book. Of, it's called Grace for Today. It's not my original book of grace by Max Lucado. It's um, it's another book that I have. That's called Grace, and um, this one is called you know relieve anxiety. Now, if you see the smoke, it's incense because um, I was in prayer and um, I burn incense when I pray. So um, it's still burning. So if you see smoke, that's what it is. Um, relieving anxiety. Yeah, you know, uh, it, there's a lot of anxiety now that, you know, we can't turn the radio on. We can't turn the TV on without uh, seeing or hearing some horrible um, massacre going on somewhere in the world. And uh, even in uh, the USA. And um, it's getting darker and darker. And with this darkness comes, you know, if you're not if you're not right with walking with the Lord, you're going to feel anxiety. You're not going to have the peace. And um, this is why it is so important to be in the body of Christ. Um, for those of you who have not given your life to Jesus Christ, um, time is running out. Uh, the uh, evil is starting to rise and soon Jesus is going to come to remove the bride uh, uh, his church because we're not appointed to this punishment and wrath and if you're not a part of it you will be left behind here to see some horrific things that the world has never ever encountered before in its history so um, I will put the salvation prayer at the end of this video for those of you who would like to come to the Lord Jesus, devote your life to him, accept what he did on the cross as payment for your sins, repent, turn away from your sins and follow him. There's safety, there's refuge in the Lord Jesus is the only way, it's the only shelter from everything that's about to hit the the earth it's the only your it's the only umbrella that's it 
And it's the only way to go to heaven. Because if you die without Christ, you won't be you won't enter the kingdom of God. So let me read this um, relieve anxiety devotional. Okay, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. And that's from Matthew 6.34. In times of pressure and stress, when it feels as if hope is dying, anxiety takes root in your heart and mind and flourishes. Anxiety is the product of a confused mind and little faith. One way of overcoming a feeling of anxiety is to determine its cause. For many people, their anxiety is vague and indefinable, but it continues to erode their spirit and their mind with disastrous consequences. Take your anxieties to God and ask him to be master of the situation. If you do this, you are no longer allowing the devil to attack your calm approach to life or allowing anxiety to spoil tomorrow. And here's a prayer we could pray. Holy Spirit of God, help me not to be anxious about tomorrow because you have every day in your eternal and loving hand. Amen. And boy, is that true, because when Satan gets hold of you through fear, it escalates and it, it, it's like um, when you step on the accelerator in your car when the car is cold in the winter morning and you rev that engine and it goes, it races and you see the RPMs going through the roof. That's what happens with your fear. Um, and it is an irrational fear because there really isn't any near and present danger to you in the moment, but yet you're panicking as if uh, someone walked up to you with, with a revolver and is threatening your life. So this is a rational fear. You have to understand that Satan is the author of that. So you need to turn to God for, to get out of that trap. I myself have had that for many years. Um, thank the Lord he got me out of that. I don't feel that uh, anymore. It was terrible to have your adrenaline constantly racing and coursing through your bloodstream. It puts a lot of stress on your organs and it robs you of your peace. So say a prayer to God. Say that prayer to God and um, hand it over to him and ask him to come into your life and remove that anxiety. And this next one is called A New Hope. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. And that's from Proverbs uh, 3 um, verse 5 to 6. And here's the commentary. The decisions you make on a daily basis could have far-reaching consequences for your life. Spend some time in God's presence today and seek His will. This will lay a solid foundation for a life built on trust in the living Christ. God will never disappoint you. Though the Holy Spirit, oh sorry, through the Holy Spirit, he will open up new horizons of what life can offer. Your values will change as you start to look at life through his eyes. The more closely you walk with him, the more clearly you will understand all that he can do in and through your life. Resolve to strengthen and enrich your relationship with Christ so that you can blossom and be as fruitful as he desires you to be. And here's a prayer that we could say. Loving Lord, I come before you in earnest prayer, asking that my imperfect life might reflect something of your holiness. Amen. Yes, Jesus wants good things for you. 
And of course, you know, the adversary, Satan, um, tries to thwart every good thing that God wants to send your way. You know, uh, you know that phrase, taking one step forward and two steps back, right? It's when God gives you something good and then the devil take God gives it to you and the devil takes it away. But when you're in the body of Christ and you're uh, loyal uh, to Christ with and, and generous with your time, um, you will feel that you are more empowered uh, with the Holy Spirit to overcome all the anxieties and the um, questions that we have because you don't you don't seek to answer the questions anymore you just know that your Lord is in control Jesus Christ is in control of everything and it's all that he's timing everything and we need to be walking with him he will give you this incredible peace and he will use you however he needs to use you to further this process to get us home uh, safely in the heavens where we'll spend eternity with him uh, and the Father. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Monday. God bless everyone. I love you. Holy Spirit bless you. Jesus Christ loves you. And um, I will put up uh, a salvation prayer at the end of this video. Uh, please come to the Lord. We're running out of time. God bless.